Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's so exciting to see you guys again because um, I didn't do a video last week. I was really sick and I could barely talk. I do sound a little still like um, scratchy. My throat sounds a little bit scratchy still, but I just wanted to film a video because I haven't in so long and I've missed doing YouTube videos. So I was like, I have to film today. First video of 2018 for me. I'm so excited and so happy about it. This is pretty big to me. It's like a big deal for me. Um, but yeah, this is the video. Today we are going to be doing a makeup look using all drugstore brand items. So everything I use today is going to be drugstore except for my brushes. You know, I have Morphe brushes, Too Faced brushes. I have like e.l.f. brushes too though. So everything else, everything makeup wise today will be drugstore. So yeah, um, I'm super excited. If you guys are excited too, please give this video a thumbs up and watch it to the end to see what the makeup look is going to look like. And I guess let's just get started to the video and we will see what my face looks like at the end. So to start, I have two NYX palettes. I got this one that I got from Ulta for my birthday. I got it a couple months ago. Um, so yeah, I've got this one. It's got a mirror on the inside, so this is the mirror I will be using for today. And then I've got this I Love You So Mochi, Mochi, Mochi palette. It's pretty new. It The retail value is $20, and it's got some pretty colors in there too. I like it. I'm super excited to use this palette today too. I haven't touched it since I got it because it was just like, I'm going to wait to film my video. Super excited though to use the colors. I can't wait to see what I make. So yeah, let's get started. First, I'm going to be priming my eyelids because you guys know I always do my eyeshadow first. I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I'm using the shade Fair Claire. I hear amazing things about this like concealer and that's why I wanted to try this one because I was like, I hear such good things. People are like, oh yeah, it's the best. Like, you guys know I love Shape Tape and people say it's pretty, like I've heard people say like it's pretty much the Shape Tape of drugstore makeup. Like the best concealer ever. Before I really started using prestige items, I used um, the NYX concealer, but before that, like, I would use the L'Oreal, um, L'Oreal Paris, um, concealer, and I really liked that one, so, but I wanted to try this one because I was just like, I want something, you know, I haven't used. I'm going to use my Morphe M433 brush, M433, M433 brush, whichever. And I'm going to use that to put the color in my crease. So I'll just tap it in there. This palette is so pigmented, but like, I feel like NYX makes really super pigmented palettes. So that's good. I'm going to use this one on the inner, like, corner, the V portion, the inner half of my eye. I think that'll look good. And let's see how pigmented this is. Oh yeah, look at that. It's pretty pigmented for a drugstore brand, like makeup color. And this palette's pretty new too, so you can definitely, because Ulta had it on like 
um, a tower kind of thingy near the prestige side. Because that's where I got it. I bought it. And, um, yeah. It's good. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser to prime. And now I have this Maybelline, what is it, what is that called? So it's the Master Camo um, Color Corrector. It's the green one, and I use it to, you know, green is to help um, with redness. So I have sometimes, like, redness because of acne scars, and I just like to throw the green color corrector in there just to help. And now I'm going to use the new Maybelline... Super stay full coverage foundation that and I think it has a matte finish someone told me and I'm using it in the shade sun beige 310 so 310 sun beige this is it I'm super excited because I've heard great things about this foundation I know Maybelline just came out with it so let's see how it works like let's see how good it is I hear amazing things though oh and I think I got it for $12.99 at Ulta Maybe eleven ninety nine. I don't exactly remember. It's hard to tell though because like, you know, they don't have testers for you to like. So like, this could not match me. I I tried some on my face the other day, and it looked pretty good, but it's hard to it's hard to make an exact match match when it comes to um drugstore foundation wow so far i like this it looks pretty good now i'm just gonna go back in with the um maybelline concealer that's got the sponge at the top i know there's like two sizes this is the smaller one the eraser of dark circles i don't know if the big one says that too but and I'm just going to conceal. So I'm bronzing with the Makeup Revolution bronzer. Weirdest thing ever just happened. My camera just shut off. And I had to get up and re, like, I guess turn it back on. I don't know why it shut off. But yeah. Story of my life. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to use the NYX Tinted Brow Promenade in the shade Espresso, aka the number four. So this is it. It's like a gel. Um, I don't know how much it is because I've had this for a long time and before, like now I use the, um, Benefit Cabrow, but before that I used this, so that's why I don't remember how much it is. Yeah. So now I also have, by Makeup Revolution, I have the Strobe Highlighter in Holographic Lights. I use this e.l.f. fan brush, and I'm just going to highlight. I did, like, a dab of this the other day, and it was so pretty. Oh, the retail value of this is $9. $9 for this highlighter. Like... How much do you spend on a highlighter normally if you buy a prestige highlighter? You spend like, I don't know, like you can spend almost $30. I 
It's got like a bluish, um, blue green like kind of a uh, shade to it. So like, it makes me think of like a mermaid highlight. Really, I was like, oh my god, I need it. Like, look at that. The shade is Coral Cove, and it's just so pretty. I was, and it's like a, it's seven dollars, and my sister was like, you don't need that, and I was like, your blush is thirty dollars. You can't judge. Which is true. And I'm just gonna use the blush brush from my Red Morphe. Um, brush that. My camera just died, and so I waited to finish the rest of the video, but I'm back, and we just really have to do lashes and lips. That's all that's left, so let's hope my camera doesn't die again for this. If I'm being honest, um, I used to film on my phone because I, I have a camera, but I didn't have a way to get my camera footage onto my laptop, so I would just film on my phone and like edit that way. Like, I could get, I have a Mac, so I could just upload it from my phone to my Mac, and that's how I would do it. But, like, it's, it's nicer using a camera, but I didn't like it dying on me right then. So, yeah. I'm just curling my lashes. I mean, this is the Tarte one. I got it for, like, $9 online, because they were having a sale one day, and it's from last year. But you can get like a Revlon eyelash curler even. Going back to my NYX I Love You So Much, Love You So Muchy palette. I think I'm gonna dab the inner corner with this color. That was like a nice pretty shade. Uh, and I was like, oh I can use this on the inner corner instead of this one. So I'm gonna do that. Pick up a little bit. I like the way that highlights the inner corner of the eye. It it really bright, like this color specifically is really brightening. And lastly, I'm just going to do my lips. I normally don't like lipstick like this. I, um, I actually don't think I ever use lipstick like this. Like I've bought lipstick like this, but I almost never use it. I don't like it because I feel like it gets in the cracks of my lips. Like if my lips are a little bit chapped, even like the tiniest bit chapped, I feel like it gets in the cracks and it looks bad and it's very frustrating for me. So I don't buy and wear lipstick like this, like the one that rolls up. However, I saw this one. I don't know what drew me to this lipstick. Like even, I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the case. It's the Makeup Revolution Ellipse, um Iconic Matte Nude Lipstick in the shade Inspiration. I tried it on and I really, really like it. I feel like this one doesn't settle in the cracks of my lips. I feel like it's not drying. It's not like super... I don't hate this lipstick. I actually like this lipstick. And it's almost the exact same shade of the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess lipstick so here you guys go this is my completed makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you take into consideration some of these products that i use because i think they are really good 
I really liked this palette. It's got really pretty colors and they come out really pigmented for the price. Again, retail value, $20. This foundation is amazing. Um, after it's been sitting for a minute, I think this is my perfect shade. So again, I'm wearing the shade 310. It's sun beige. So if you think your skin tone is probably like mine, then get this one. This one's really good. I'm excited to see how it wears all day. Um, I love the Milani blush. I just, a lot of, I like all the products I use today. They're really good. I'm really happy I did a drugstore makeup tutorial because I don't typically use any drugstore products at all, which I feel like is kind of weird, but this is exciting because all these products are so affordable for people who can't spend $40 on a foundation or who don't want to spend $40 on a foundation. This foundation is amazing. And like I said, it was, I don't remember if it was $12.99 or $11.99, but yeah, this foundation was great. So you could buy that. I could buy this. Like I could buy it. I did buy it. Um, but yeah, like these products were really good and I'm really happy about this video. I'm happy about the way the makeup look turned out. I'm very excited for how these products are going to wear throughout the day. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if this is your first time seeing my videos and being on my channel, please subscribe because I have such exciting things coming for 2018. I have plans to do like giveaways and things like that. I'm really excited. I think 2018 is really going to be our year to just kind of, I really want to build and work on my YouTube channel a little bit more. I want to do like all one brand makeup looks and stuff like that. I'm excited. Um, it's just, it's an exciting thing for me. And I would love for you to be part of that excitement. So yeah, if this is your first time being on my channel, please subscribe. So that way you can get, you can, I'll show up on your wall whenever I do giveaways. You'll see, cause I'll put it in the, um, in like the title. And yeah, I just can't wait to see you guys next time. I can't wait to film my next video. And I can't wait to see what 2018 holds for us. So I will see you next week. Have a great week, YouTube beauties. Bye.